Hi everybody, hello, it's Sophia here from IncreasedSocialRidge.com and just I just had some little technical issues like everybody else has. Um, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit until somebody comes up live. Hello Charlotte! <laughs> How you doing? I haven't spoken to you for ages. So for those that are watching the replay Today, I'm going to talk about um, sexy planning <laughs> and, you know, we're going to look at um, different ways of planning, uh, what you need to have, you know, in place for planning. Hi, Charlotte. Um, so let me just, let me just put this. Just put this here, I think, and then I'll pick it up so I don't have to hold it. Cool, 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 cool. I've got some notes, of course. I have to have my notes. So first of all, um, happy Thanksgiving for all the US um, peeps that I've got in the group. Um, have an awesome, awesome day. And please do come back. I'm going to put a link for the replay um, down below when this is finished. And you can get... <laughs> Hi, Sanai. And you can get um, that replay in a different place. Okay. Um, so... Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for coming. And um, I'm just going to start with my uh, presentation about planning and how important it is to plan. Um, hi Lindsay! So, okie dokie. Um, I want to tell you a little story about um, a, a client of mine that I had uh, previously. Um, she's watching um, the Sinai. I don't know if you know Sinai is my business coach. Um, and um, back in March of this year, we started working together because uh, Sinai um, had a vision, her goals, you know, all out there. She just wanted to go and get them. Um, so we had... Uh, so we had, you know, she had like big, big goals for this year. She wanted to launch a webinar. She wanted to launch um, several group program uh, programs, group programs. Um, she had very, a big, big vision of what she wanted to achieve. But when we start working together in March, um, I implemented uh, this planning um, system process with um, Sinai as a project management kind of um, um, package. Um, so we, you know, it was, um, we worked on them. We didn't have a lot of time uh, to work on them. Uh, we had about th uh, three to four weeks to launch for a webinar. We did consecutive webinars and we packed a group program that started in may of this year and uh, no in in may of this year um and we had an amazing amazing conversion rate of 80 percent so um and we were happy we were happy with the system that we implemented and um that was why um it was a no-brainer for Sinai. Um, to come to Portugal um, recently we went to a planning retreat to Portugal uh, not just and I, another coach as well Jennifer and we and it was a no-brainer because Sanai knew precisely she already achieved all those goals that she had for this year she has to put in place a plan for next year where she has a much, much bigger goals. Hey, yes, and I see previously, currently I'm still your client. 
hit my money goals, achieve the launch of two webinars, launch three sellout group programs, launched um, a six month package for $15,000 that sold. And, and also we, you know, we also started another um, a six months um, collaborative package, which includes uh, mindset, strategy, and the home hub. So that was another project that we had this year. So, so we did all that. So when we actually went to Portugal for our planning retreat, um, you know, we sat down, we looked at, you know, what, what the income goals that we have for next year. And we actually, yes, business in a box. And, um, it's it's clear now where we want to go and we're experimenting on different projects and we're trying all different types of things but this it's only possible if you have a plan in place so the plan is the key and i know planning is can be quite boring for a lot of you and please please tell me in the comments if you're ready if you have a plan or if you use some sort of a planning process already within your business. I would love to know in your comments. So, to, um, to start with, um, so what was the planning? The planning retreat was good because, um, why? Because um, we got together, we got three brains together we helped each other there was accountability there was ideas and um systems put in place that you know we come up with so it really is important when you're planning to uh, look at the right connections that you have mariana mariana's got a plan do you have, does anybody here has a documented plan? So do you have a document where you keep all your plans centralized so you can keep track? Lindsay, fantastic. Very, very good. Um, so if you, if you have, a, you know, a centralized uh, planning system, you know, let me know in the comments as well. I would like to know that. So I was trying, I was talking about having the right connections when you're planning, uh, for brainstorming ideas, you know, for putting all your information buckets, all your services, asking questions. You can even ask your community. So if you're running a group, you can ask your community what they think of A, what they think of B, you know, so they can, you can help them, you can help, um, you can, it will help you to go, to, to move forward. No, not documented. It's okay. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So, yeah, right connections and the environment as well. So the, the planning retreat was a success because um, we were relaxed. We were near the beach. We were fed. We were watered. <laughs> so we were in an environment that really helped us to do that planning. And that's really important. So, I mean... You know, it's not like everybody can go on a planning retreat abroad, but um, if you work at home, for example, just get yourself out, you know, get in your car, notepads, and then start drawing all your ideas, all your services, uh, services, all the plans that you have in your mind and put them down on paper, but get out of your home office as such and um, find a place that you feel relaxed and you feel um, at ease. Um, another thing that I want you to tell you about planning is, okay, focus on one step at a time to achieve your outcome, your desired outcome, okay? So um, I know, um, I'm assuming that uh, a lot of you um, if you're coaches as well, which is my audience, um, you, you have big goals and I'm assuming that your goals are financial freedom, uh, the ability to work from anywhere in the world. I do 
the ability to reach a wide audience, I do. The ability to speak out and um, share your story, you know, share and inspire others. So, I'm a, yeah, if I touched, can, you, can I have, yeah, I'm having thumbs up for all of that, that's amazing. So, I'm assuming that those goals are, you know, the, the, they are your, you know, they, they are similar to yours. And you have all that in your head at the moment. And you, all you can think about is achieving those goals. Um, so, the only way that you can really put all those, um, you know, those goals, visualize them, is by... Um, having a proper planned out um, plan <laughs> where you're going to document them, where you're going to track them, uh, where you're going to look back at them and go like, oh, that one didn't work. What can I do to improve it? Um, what can I experiment and such and such? So for, for having all of those goals, you need... Um, a plan for uh, being visible, a visibility plan. You need to feel courageous, right? You, you need to you need to show up. You need to um, show up. You know what you do. You ha other people need to know what you do. So visibility is a big thing for me, um, because any other way, if they don't know what you do, and if you're not showing up and being visible they're not going to be your clients. And at the end of the day, we all need, you know, we all, that's what we do. So if you want to inspire them, and if you want to um, to have those uh, amazing clients, you need to be visible. You need to get over the mindset blocks and, um, you know, that you're going through. And I had many mindset blocks. I had... Uh, an enormous amount of mindset blocks when I started my business. Um, fear of showing up because I was afraid that my ex um, J-O-B 95 was going to say something, uh, what people were going to, you know, say about me. Uh, oh, look at her, she's coming up again. Um, so all this, all these fears, they're all in your head and you need to really, you know, um, try and try and figure out a way to be authentic be unique and be you and um i can i can you know hand on heart now say that i haven't got those fears anymore because i've worked with a coach and um We've worked and worked and worked really deep on all those blocks, all those fears. And now I'm clear and I've had amazing breakthroughs um, this year. It's been intense. And I understand, you know, I'm, I'm an extrovert person, but um, even for introvert, I can't imagine for an introvert person, how would it feel like? Um, but even for an extrovert person, it's very difficult um, to show up and what you're going to say and what if they think you're not saying the proper thing. So I want to reassure you that they're not even thinking about it. It's all in the mind. Okay. Um, another thing that I want to say in regards to planning is don't stress about smart goals <laughs> smart goals are specific measurable attainable realistic and timely and it's a word that people use um to kind of just drill them down that the, the whole um process is to drill down your goals the more you drill down your goals, the better you are to target your ideal audience, um, target um, your prospects and your clients. Really, really drilling them down. Uh, 
So, if you have any questions whatsoever throughout my talk, you know, just please put them in the comments. And if I miss any of them, I'll just... If I miss any of them, I'll just come back to them later on. It's just... Sana is saying, just hucks me back to corporate. I need to get over that old stuff. <laughs> yeah. Breakthroughs are always intense. Yes, they were um, intense and I had, um, and you know about that, Sana, I had a, a recent one, a recent breakthrough um, in our planning retreat. And um, one of the days of our planning retreat was actually really really intense because I had my breakthrough I had um you know I was working with uh, two amazing ladies on the beach really being productive and um putting it all down on paper and talking 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 brainstorming ideas and talking and um you know what if we do it this way what you know we're just putting putting them all you start playing with one vision or one or two income. So you have your income, Charlotte. You have your income. So say like you want to earn um, 50,000 euros a year. So you've got your um, income on the top, right? And then um, you're going to break down your goals. Your goals are different from your income. So... Your income can be a goal. So it, within your goals, you can have incoming goals. You can have a relationship in goals. You can have a mindset in goal, uh, goals. Um, you can have just normal business goals. And I'll, I'll show you that in a minute when I show you all my, the planner that I'll talk about in a minute. But yes, just put on top, um, you know, at the end or the beginning of this year, my... Um, my income vision goal was 50,000 euros, say. And then you're going to look at what you've got already that you can offer, that you can space out throughout the year to achieve that 50,000 um, income goal. So, yeah, you start with your income. Everybody starts with the income. So, I mean, um, like, for example... Um, Sanai's income for next year, it's um, doubled what she had for this year. So, um, and then you drill it down. So how, how are you going to achieve that income? You're going to drill it down on the goals. So, um, and also like give yourself enough um, time to reverse engineer those goals. Um, when you put them all on the map, as I say it, um, so just give give yourself enough time for like specific launches and specific product launches and service launches. So you can have time, you know, not stressing about like being visible and you have time to kind of, you know, um, just post a couple of times um, in some groups in some really relevant groups um, to post um, certain to schedule some, some certain posts on Twitter to do some blog posts. So really, um, I would say um, before an actual launch or an actual group program um, launch, you would need about a four week kind of window to, um, to, to start promoting and start launching and talking about that new program. Yeah. So now you're saying, I love the reverse engineering. Never heard of this before I met you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it's it's basically like you pinpointing all your goals, all your goals throughout the year. And then you're going to reverse engineer what you need to do to achieve that specific goal. So let's have a look what else I've got here. And um, so basically all this is it just you need to figure out a system where you'll track your progress and of your actions. 
okay um, this will motivate you and you'll possibly find out different ways of doing things differently um, and for me that system is my actual um, planner and I can let me just reverse my phone now let's have a look for a second I'm just gonna go through because this is like this is the um, the mapped the roadmap as I call it of um, of achieving your goals um, everything for me needs to be um, documented okay so just let me turn it around I wonder if you can see it thumbs up if you can see what I'm seeing here so this is just um, the main dashboard of my planner and basically um, what you need to do and I'll, I'll give you a link for this um, later on like um, like you were saying Charlotte you start with the income or you start with the goal so a goal your income is your goal as well so on here for the annual objectives I have um, like say a 50,000 K income goal okay so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, fill in all these little spaces with little um, buckets which are you know your visibility plan um, your different service packages your income your passive income packages that you might have so you're going to just really dr drill them down, put prices on it. Um, and also in respect to the price, like once you start drilling them down uh, and say it's a bigger package you, and you're collaborating with other people as well, you can actually know exactly how much you're going to charge for that bigger package because you have then the other people's uh, prices that are included in that package so then what you're going to do is once you have all those ideas all those goals and you know all those buckets filled out what you're going to do is okay so to achieve that um fifty thousand a pound annual what do i need to have so depending on the prices of your packages obviously and when you want to launch them, you're going to put the launches on specific places in all specific months. And this is how you're going to track. So all this will be summed up. And then at the end of the year, you have that 50,000 that you've achieved it. Um, another thing. Okay, do I have any questions? <laughs> another thing that I have here is okay so like I said you know um, this is this is complete you have you can track it quarterly uh, you know you have all your months there January February March da, 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 and you can really track your goals and everything that you've done for that specific quarter for example so you have, you know, different goals, like I said, business goals, money goals, relationship goals and mental mindset goals. OK, and, you know, um, when you're going to start them. So it's it's a really complete kind of spreadsheet and it's it's so that you can track um, exactly what you are doing during the um during the year during the months and this will help you as well with your content strategy right because you can have like themed um themed days uh or themed months for example um so in january for example for me i'm just going to speak about um facebook live strategy for example so i you know if i have a themed kind of month I'm going to get content and I'm going to prioritize some, um, you know, freebie, some some little different launches that I'll have come in and I'm going to prioritize them all and I'll know exactly what kind of content I can talk throughout the month. 
um, on per month as well you have in here you know it's like a goal uh, progress I don't know if you can see it very well um, so priorities what priorities have you got for the month of January okay put them down write them down um, what events are coming up um, so for example I um, attend quite a few um, local networking events and even virtual networking events i'll put them all there and you know when the appointments are or if you have like um strategy calls planned out when the appointments are so you can you know you have a track of who you've spoken to so you can go and have a follow-up with that person later on um so this is really it's really really comprehensive i think <laughs> um I don't know if um, I've completely confused you <laughs> totally, but um, I was going to say as well is um, accountability. Okay, so my next um, my next thing is about accountability. Um, if you can really um, get together with somebody in your uh, you know, in your connections, get together with somebody and um, you keep yourselves, both of you, uh, accountable for what you're doing. Because it's so easy, if you're working from home, it's so easy to kind of lose track of it all and do other things that we're not supposed to do. So if you have somebody that is supporting you and it's, you know, it's keeping you on track, it's so much so much easier. I've got some thumbs up, which is great. <laughs> um, and also, another thing is, you know, just have fun with it all. Just have absolutely massive fun with it all. Um, because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun with what you're doing, what's the point, right? <laughs> so, um, and just one last point that I wanted to emphasize in this planning um, session is always have a contingency plan in place okay this time last year I was uh, going to a massive conference I was exhibiting I was um, speaking at that event um, in two occasions one as um you know i was expo you know uh, showing off my product and also i was speaking about my system plan do review um so i i had you know i had a desk i had people lined up to um speak with me on the event and um suddenly when i was traveling to um to that conference the night before, I had a car accident. I was um, sandwiched in between two cars. My car was wrecked um, and I was hurt, physically hurt. And I had to come up with a contingency plan, like pretty quick. So that night when I came home at nine o'clock in the evening, I booked my train ticket, which I had to get at um, six o'clock in the morning. Oh, don't be sad. <laughs> it happens. I had to get at six o'clock in the morning. And for some bizarre reason, I got to that. I got on that train at six o'clock in the morning, but actually left at the wrong station. So I was very, very late at the conference, but I still got there. I still got there because my determination and my loyalty to be there was bigger than any car accident um, in the world. So when you're like planning some sort of something like this, you know, um, think about the contingency planning that you need to put in place. You know, I had insurance, so that can be part of the contingency plan. So when you're doing, you know, um, all your packages and stuff like that, what what can go wrong? You know, I know it's probably a very negative thing to, to think about, 
but you always have to like measure the pros and the cons of any situation at, at least i do i'm very um ocd like that um if i don't have everything like um in place um something goes out of, out of the norm um you know it kind of like upsets me and i feel like all stressed out so yes yeah, so that's you know the contingency plan that um i wanted to talk about and i'm gonna put the light on this is very um uh, very um <laughs> it's getting a bit dark here in the uk um so i don't know if you have any questions whatsoever <laughs> no confusing out let me go back on the see if there's any questions by knowing what could go wrong you can be prepared and handle it better yes that's right that's exactly that and you know okay i wasn't expecting um the car accident to happen but I was covered by insurance, um, you know, so I could do my train ticket to the conference because that would be covered in the insurance as well. So um, there were a series of things and that I did when that happened um, to make me go to my end goal. So just briefly, I would like um, to... Um, chat to you about um visibility okay so we uh, i've said you know that we need to be very visible um in you know everywhere if offline or online you know if you do offline networking as well um yes just um set up some um Sometimes per month that you go to local networking events and be present and tell people what you actually do. Because if they don't know what you do, they're not going to come to you. Okay. Things that don't kill you makes you strong as a person. Yes, Lindsay, that's true. And um, so, yeah, offline networking, but online visibility. Okay. Um, I've got, uh, the, um, a program coming up. Um, it's actually starting next Monday, which is called the master your media. And it's a place, um, for online coaches, um, for, um, you know, coaches that are struggling and they want to be more visible. They want to create more engagement within their groups. Um, so we have um, a series, five weeks of content. And um, so we go through the planning, all this, you know, all this is in the planning um, content, but also we have a content about engagement because engagement and good engagement, it's very, very important. Um, knowing how to communicate with others, how, you know, ask those controversial questions, really dig deep into who you're targeting and kind of feel their pain. So we're going to also um, create content. How are we going to, you know, what content can we create specific to uh, our businesses? And we have a whole week of a mindset um, on visibility, um, on fears of being visible and many other topics. That week is going to be amazing because we have um, amazing coaches coming in and speaking on that week. And also, um, you know, I'll, I'll be there every single week we have... Um, one day that we are um, meeting up on Monday and uh, Q&As on a Thursday. So this is a lot of content and it's content that you need to put in place right now before 2017 starts and you go like, oh, what's my goals for this year? 
<laughs> so, you know, like in the beginning of the year, you go like, you've got big goals, you know, like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But then the energy kind of like fades away a little bit. Um, so I want to make you really focused and really having you out there being visible, showing your gifts, your talents and getting those amazing clients that you want. So you can work from no, from everywhere, from nowhere, you know, from Portugal, from anywhere. <laughs> um, so the program is open. Um, it's, uh, you know, a very, a very discounted price because, you know, I'm not into Black Friday and Cyber Monday things. So I started doing the uh, Black Friday actually last, <laughs> last Monday and I've got it at 80% discount and there is amazing, awesome bonuses and, um, one of them is my social media starter kit is in there. You'll be inside of membership sites where I am all the time. You'll be in a secret group. You will have my accountability. You will have my guidance throughout. Okay. And this is going really silly for £297. So. That's my Master Your Media. I'll put the link down below as well um, for it if you're interested. And if you have any questions whatsoever about it, just please let me know. And um, we'll, uh, we'll look into um, answer answering those questions, of course. So I don't know if I've got any more questions. I still have four viewers. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for staying on. Okay. I will put the link down below in the comments later on so you can have access to the planner freebie as a thank you. Um, and you and all the other links that I've mentioned as well. So... I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Sanai. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Lindsay, because you are going to pick up your little ones. So, but the, the the awesomeness of Facebook Live actually is you can do it anywhere. You can do it mobile. I can have gone to my car. <laughs> so this is this is really good. So um yeah, that's it, guys. If you don't have any more questions, and if you do have any more questions, put them in the comments later on, and I'll speak to you all soon. Okay, thank you very much for coming in, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.